Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh right here back again with a new video. And today we're going to be doing a scouting report video. So a review of eight for week two on Friday, uh, March 26, 2021 at 7 p.m. Murrow Foresight Trojans versus the Ethan Warriors. So I was going to do a scouting report on the week one team. Uh, Bismarck Blue Devils, but I didn't get the chance to do that because I was busy with school. But now, uh, this is kind of my, my free period, so I get to kind of work on this. So, let's get to it. So, um, if you guys want me to continue these uh, scatter reports, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and, and comment down below if you guys want to see these. And then, uh, I was going to, should I bring back the, the interviews for those? I, w I really want to bring back the, the interviews. Those were a lot of fun to do. So, uh, with that said, let's get into this here. So, the first one, win 8 out of 10 in these categories, and you will win small things, win big games, bold control, Monday conditioning. So, we got uh, plus 2 on touchdowns, uh, 350 yards total, 350 yards total, 6 plus the 15 plays, 100% in the red zone, score 35 plus points, which we didn't do. Uh, GAP, uh, special teams, uh, 200 yards, 5 sacks, uh, 14 points or fewer, and then 40-yard penalties. So the only things we did was that we did have 6 to 15 plays, obviously. 100% in the red zone. Yes, we did. Uh, we, in, we ended up winning this game 28 to 19. Uh, let me just give you a recap of what happened against Bismarck. So first half was unbelievable. 28 to nothing. It was a good first half. And then second half was just... Not very good. Um, Bismarck tried to come back, but we were able to stop him. Uh, that's what those five sacks were for, thank goodness. Uh, and so, yeah, that's the one thing. And then so, Moreau Foresight Trojan sticker requirements. Offensive team, 300 plus total rushing. Uh, 200, plus total, 200 plus total rushing, and then 40 plus points. Uh, offensive individual, backs with 100 plus yards rushing. Quarterback with 200 plus yards passing. Receiver with 400 plus receiving. O lineman sticker if we achieve any of these. And then so this is just a bunch more requirements. Special teams. Punt uh, 30 team at 35 yard. Net average. Yes. Punt at return. And then all that stuff right there. All right. So Monday conditioning. No turnovers. Fly start. 10 M run. Force three turnovers. Time 40 yard dash. Less than 40 yards in penalties. 10 second time run. Also, summer weight room attendance will be figured in on stickers. Three each, 100% attendance. Two each for 90% attendance. And then one each for 80% attendance. Okay, I don't really think you guys want to see that. Um, So, I think this is what we are looking at right now. Okay. Um, so, the key notes to this uh, scouted... Game. So this was Athens' game against the Riverton Hawks. <coughs> Excuse me. Which Athens, of course, ended up winning. Riverton. A uh, little uh, thing about Riverton. They haven't really. Uh, they're not exactly the greatest when it comes to uh, to football. But anyway. So offensive players starting lineup list numbers. Uh, so 79, uh, 66, 68. So we got uh, the two. Right here, 79 and 76 at the right here. This here we've got um, a guard, 66 and 75, and then their center, 68, right here. And then so their wide receiver, 25, uh, 15 and 14 is their tight ends, and then they got number 20 right there. Their two run, they got three running backs, number 10, 28, 21, and then their quarterback number two. So, looking at their uh, the big guys right here, number one, best offensive lineman, 68, Tommy Westervelt. Uh, his strengths is that he's very athletic. Uh, weakest offensive lineman is number 68, which uh, we don't really have a name for. Uh, we don't really have his weakness either. I mean, that's the, the thing. He's, he's, not very, he's a little bit weaker. So, best back is number 21, their running back uh, right here. Says that um, Dason Davis, I think he's an absolute stud. Uh, his strengths is that he's very strong. He's athletic, obviously. That's why he's on the, f the football team. First team all-conference. 
And so I don't really know what that means, but uh, he's strong. He's athletic. That's all I need to know. So 21. I'm pretty. I'm guessing 21. Uh, this Davis kid, he's gonna be. Uh, he's gonna be pretty big uh, when we play him. And then next up, we've got Clay Alderman, uh, who's their quarterback. Uh, the quarterback right here. He's 5'10". Uh, he's 170 pounds. Jesus. Uh, he was. Uh, I weigh more than this guy does. Uh, that's his strength and his weakness is that first year starter. So. I'm guessing he's probably, I'm guessing he's a senior maybe, and uh, he's, this is his first time starting this year, so, so that, they get, so yeah, I'm starting to wonder if uh, number two is a senior or something, so, uh, according to one of his weaknesses here. So, best wide receiver is number 20, uh, it's, that, it's this guy right here, hang on, somebody's calling me, who's calling me, nobody's calling, alright, I don't know who's calling me. Um, but you guys are important. So, best wide receiver is number 20, Brian Lindsey. Uh, his, his strength is that he catches for 58 yards and a big play player. And then, uh, the trick plays reverse pass. So, here are the keynotes to this. Uh, must win first down, force them to throw, and we win. Uh, that's the first thing here. Second thing, trust your eyes equals read your keys uh oh this one's uh, must be serious do your job all 11 guys have an assignment double dive is their home run just do your job and then we must hit them your pride is on o it is designed that, that they are the most physical team in our league that is true we don't back down oh no, uh that that's also true and then defensive line has to force double teams and hold their ground then linebackers scrape and tackle so that's the the one right here and then so those are offensive players all right now let's take a look at defense defense is a lot of fun if you ask me the if you ask a lot of people they'll probably tell you hey they had a lot of good times at foot playing high school football as a defensive lineman all right so looking at their defense um, their best um, defensive line is uh, number 66 right here. Uh, Caleb Leathers, he's a two-year starter. That's good. Uh, and he's very physical. That's also good. And then their weakness, their weakest one, well, I, I, I don't think, uh, we. I, I'm guessing we don't have it. They don't have a, a weakest um, defensive lineman, I guess. So, Best linebacker, number 21. Uh, it's this guy right here. It says he's very strong, athletic, first team all conference. So same for the uh, the one kid, the Dason Davis kid on uh, on the um, man. I can't talk today. The the running back that we were talking about earlier. So ah oh, man, I lost it. There we go. Uh, line, oh, Dason Davis is the Oh, he's a linebacker too. Okay, so apparently, apparently he's pretty weak, but he's really good when it comes to, to offense. Wow. Okay. Um. Oh, is he, oh, he's their best. Excuse me, their best one. Strong athletic. So it's the same guy. I, I apologize. It took me a while to uh, to see that it was the same guy. So same guy. Uh, same stuff. Their weakest one, number forty-two, Keaton McCourt. Uh, looks like it doesn't have a weakness or doesn't really talk about its weakness uh, that much and then number and then their best uh, defensive back is number 10 uh, this guy right here uh, Jay Con Shanklin um, I don't know if I'm saying his name right Jay Kyan Shanklin I don't, I don't know how you say his first name but we're gonna call him Shanklin and then, so the key notes for here is Offensive line and back in man equals back to ball equals fake inside to open hips and run deep out in corners all day corner blitz. <clears throat> so next up we're going to talk about the special team scouting report. Uh, the special team, so number their kicker, number 14, formation 5K5. Uh, the type of kicks, he's a decent high ball to about the 20 yard line 
who has outside contain, outside guy. Do they cross? No. Were their opponents successful? Yes, returned for a touchdown. Will they onside kick or pop kick? So they will pop kick, looks like. And then so the opponent kickoff return. How many deep returners do they have? So uh, they had two. Formation, five, two, two, two. See below. Uh, what do the front players do? Back battle. And then direction of the return looks like uh, we don't have anything there. So the keynotes for the special teams, be ready for squib kicks. We have to value you the ball. And there's no other key keynotes here. So this is what it's going to look like. So you got the kicker there, and then you got these four here, and then four here. Uh, that's actually a, a that's actually pretty nice. And then over here we got um, you got the kicker there, and then so line up here, kind of like a smiley face there. Two guys inside the 10 and the 20 this guy over here by almost to the 30 two guys here by the 40 and then over these guys here by the 50 so when special teams are scouting report here uh, another one here formation uh for the opponent punt two te two tight ends two wings one leg protector and uh, a punter he is uh the qb question mark i don't know two or three step and then type of punt distance hang time okay and we got that one so opponent punt return keynotes return not confident be pressure on him put pressure on him and make plays i cannot talk today so uh put pressure on him so here's what the kickers here yeah his, his little buddies here and then the the one ends over here boom okay and then field opponent goal Opponent with the field goals. Are the field goals the same as PAT? Yes. Did they attempt a field goal? No, they didn't. Can we block it? Yes, we can. Who's the weakest wing? Uh, doesn't say. And then do they fake the PAT or go for for two? They will go for a two-point conversion. Looks like. And then so here is, um, I, I don't know if you can see that very well. We'll zoom it in. And here is... Ethan's roster. There's your QB. Uh, yes, he is a senior. I was right. So, I'm trying to see here how many seniors do they got? They got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, they got twelve seniors on this team. So, uh, yep, this is kind of what it looks like. And then so we'll zoom in a little bit. Oh wait, no, we'll zoom in. Nope, don't zoom out. Zoom in. Hold back. There we go. Alright, so head coach Ryan Knox. Uh, assistant coach Curtis Dion, Sean Knox. Uh, Fletcher Morgan, Bill Reed, Joe Reed, Zach Reed, Brett Ripple, and Willie Thompson. So stats, uh, Eric Gordon and Chris Reller. Athletic trainer is Steve Proctor. Grounds crew, Terry Brown and Rick Jackson. Public address, Keith Rick Richard. Uh, clock management done by Derek Hughes and Eric Zoke. Uh, chain gang, uh, those are the uh, Darren Epperson, Trent Knowles, Steve Myers, and Scott Shadley. And then there's just their cheerleaders. Lay Dan, uh, sponsor, Abby Knox. Leah Daniels, hey, we have Leah too, except our Leah is a lot uh, cooler. Aaron Wheat, Rachel Schluter. Ruby Poe, Ruby Poe, excuse me, Carly um, Armitage, uh, you guys uh, don't need to know the, uh, the that right there, so yeah, this is uh, kind of what Athens is looking like, uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to continue these, um, make sure to leave a like, so, again, subscribe if you're new here, and I will talk to you guys later with the next scatter report.